I'm Jake, and today we're making this awesome sandpaper organizer with magnetic sanding blocks. Check it. So I was talking to my friend Josh over at Graf Woodshop, and he also needs some sort of sandpaper solution. So we decided we're both gonna build a sandpaper cabinet or storage system, and we want you to go in the comments down below and tell us which version you like best. So I have a rough plan in my head on what this cabinet is gonna look like. So I'm gonna go start building. got all my panels cut and labeled with sticky notes. The next step is to put on some iron-on edge banding. I've got my iron ready and I have this really cool tool from FastCap that'll help me trim it to the width of the, the plywood panel. If you don't have a special tool like this one, you can pick one up in the links down below or you could just use a utility knife. Uh, it works just as well. In order to keep the paper all organized within the sandpaper cabinet, I want to have some vertical dividers for the full sheets of sandpaper, as well as some horizontal shelf dividers for the round uh, replacement discs for the random orbital sander. I'm using these two different spacers to help me space out the exact distance in between each dado, as well as shift the blade over every single time so I can get a slot a little bit wider than the blade because the quarter inch plywood is just a little bit wider than my regular table saw blade. Let's get back at it. Well, unfortunately, I just realized that even though I labeled everything with sticky notes, I still put everything in the wrong spot. This piece was supposed to go over here. So I gotta take it apart real quick for the glue sets and try again. All right, let's go.
Well, Jake's over there painting. We're gonna make some really cool sandpaper blocks. I know, kinda dull. But this sandpaper block is totally reusable and doesn't use any glue and is super easy to put a new sheet of sandpaper on whenever you need one. The first step is to rip down a piece of plywood two and a half inches wide. Then we're gonna move the fence over and lower the blade and cut a dado or a groove in the middle of that block one and a half inches wide. Uh, the depth of this groove should be about one quarter inch or so. Uh, you go a little deeper if you want, but don't go too deep. Once you have that groove cut, we'll now cut a block that will fit into that groove. So rip a piece of wood down to one and a half inches wide and cut it to length. In order to load the sanding block, all you have to do is take a sheet of sandpaper, cut it into quarters, and then wrap it around the block so that the edges start to tuck into the groove that you made. Then take the one and a half inch wide block, place it in the groove, and press it or hammer it into place. The final finishing touch is to add a screw right in the center of the sanding block. You don't necessarily need to do this, but since Jake was nice enough to install a couple of magnets in the side of the sandpaper cabinet, this screw will help hold it into place on the side of the cabinet so that whenever I need a sanding block, it's right there, ready to go. So I've got the paint all done. It's looking really nice. I'm gonna take this tape off here and then glue on some magnets to the side. Actually really happy with how the sandpaper organizer turned out it just it looks really nice and I think it's gonna be really handy in keeping everything organized and my shop looking clean don't forget to head over to graph woodshop and check out Josh's version of his sandpaper organizer we want you to go down in the comments below and tell us which one you like best if you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos if you want to check out some really cool two minute tips, I've got them queued up for you right here. Or if you want to see another build video, it's hanging out right there. Until next time, get out there and make something awesome.